who calls herself the youngest teacher ever, is a published author with three books under her belt. And this morning she's right here in Central Florida as a guest speaker at the Florida Education Technology Conference. Good morning. Hi, good morning. I'm so excited to talk to you about this. Three books under your belt, like you said. We've got it right here. And you're talking to teachers. What are you going to teach them about? Well, I'm talking about kids I've been in the classroom. How teachers can use technology to transfer the teachers to use and everything. They interact quite often. You are a little smarty pants. I was reading a, one of your blogs, and you wrote kind of a letter to teachers about how you don't always want to get A's. And I don't know if all kids think about this, but it was interesting. This is what you wrote. You said, I think it's important to realize that even the most exemplary of students needs, wants, suggestions, and feedback. It's reasonable that better work should get a higher grade, but you can also go beyond the rubric and give your students new perspectives to think about. So you say, even if kids are doing well, sometimes they need a little guidance of what they can do better. Yes, definitely. not often you hear kids talk like that. So what do you get when you're talking to teachers? What do they say to you after the conference? What do they say, you know, you're not the usual kid? Do they like what you're saying? Or are they like, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I've never gotten a what are you talking about. I'm hoping that I won't. Uh, usually it's, well, I really appreciate this view, and it's one that I don't see very often. And I think that as a kid, I'm able to provide a student's view, and that's why it's important. OK, let's talk about the fact that you're 12 years old. What grade are you in? Okay, are you one of those kids we're going to see that's graduating college in about two or three years? You're going to take it slow. Um, well, my math and science is not quite as uh, on the same level as my writing. I'm just at grade level, so that might take a little bit of time to catch up. All I'm right. Let's talk about really quickly your books. What are they if people want to check them out for their kids? Dancing Fingers is a collection of poetry. It's really great for all ages. I have all kinds of poems. I co-authored it with my older sister. And um, my sister's poems are in here as well. Perfect. From the Skies is my first novel. It's a full-length novel um, about its coming-of-age adventure story. It's a little bit of satire in it. And Flying Fingers is a collection of my short stories with tips on writing for students from the Okay, I think any parent and teacher's dream country. Thank you so much for joining Thank us this morning. Good luck at that conference at Dora's Talk. Thanks for joining us. Good day. It's going to be back in just two minutes. All right, so fun. Thank you for coming.